and, and there is there's Keith's favorite term yeah polar I'll vortex. tell you what it definitely didn't paralyze that part of the country because they're cold all the time yeah, yeah um, I think we've talked about this this is one of my biggest misses in travel I've never been to Niagara Falls I haven't either we Same. Were, you haven't been either mm -mm. I was actually we were just thinking about doing an RV trap trip because it's so weird still with the pandemic and stuff sure. and I was like what about Niagara Falls that could be a cool one to like RV it well I would wait because apparently the Canada side yes. is much better and we can't go to Canada we can't oh, get there yeah, from I didn't, that's interesting I didn't think of that okay see I didn't have to look on TripAdvisor I get I want to do the Grand Canyon anyway in an RV yeah or are you gonna drive from here no okay <laughs> 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 I'm not that much of an uh, adventurer. This is like a National Lampoon's <laughs> vacation type situation. Lee will be on the top of the car by the end of it. All right, 45 for temperature right now. We got up to 47 in Portland. Really nice late afternoon, early evening. Clouds did increase pretty rapidly. So the first half of the day was the better part for sure. Here comes some rain and snow showers, part of a warm front, cold front combination. And it is an interesting, uh, you know, today felt so springy in most of the state. But the mountains are going to see most likely several inches of snow tonight as this front moves through. The rest of us, a couple of rain showers, 9, 10, 11 o'clock tonight, and then snow across northern Maine continues into early tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow's a good looking day. You're going to start and think, man, it's going to be another really mild day, right around 40 to start. However, temperatures will continue to fall through the day. So they actually go down during the daylight hours, even though it's a nice bright day. And we stay cool for Friday, starting only in the teens, ending up right around 30 or so in the afternoon. So those kind of a step back after what has been a, a mild stretch of weather. Here's the snowfall overnight tonight into tomorrow, a couple of inches, maybe up to three, four inches, uh, especially towards Caribou. Next storm after that comes in on Saturday. Models still disagree on the thermal profile, but I think we change over to rain along the coastline pretty easily during the afternoon on Saturday. But stay snow into the mountains and foothills. We'll have a snowfall map out for you, I would think, tomorrow. So that's uh, Saturday. So I don't really think Saturday is a great day, no matter how you slice it, whether it be rain or snow uh, in your location. But I like Sunday a lot. Um, high 48 to 52, depending on your location. Mild again on Monday. That could be another 50 if everything works out just right. And then colder on Tuesday, an afternoon storm possible on Wednesday. I'm not certain of this yet, ladies, but I think these two storms Saturday and maybe even the next one on Tuesday could be perfect in the sense that there'll be rain along the coast and stay snow in the mountains. So if we can keep that going and, and temperatures are mild in between, it's, it's a good combination. All right. One we like. All right. Yes, exactly. Thanks a lot, Keith.